Tak tahu. <laughs> Complete with turkey in my teeth. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I wish I was done tonight, but I'm not. So <laughs> everybody else goes home. I got to stay at work. <laughs> yes, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, welcome, friends. Um, tell you what, let me grab some paper towels so I can clean my brushes without getting up. Um, I started painting. So I'm talking here about painting a crowd of people. Um, I do that a lot because I paint festivals a lot. I paint uh, wedding receptions a lot. So I'm often painting crowds of people. By no means claiming to be an expert at it. Uh, but I am getting better at it. So that's the good news. And I could talk a little bit about what I'm doing. Of course, this is just my style, my approach. Tilt you down just a little bit more. There we go. Um, first of all, I, you know, this is the fourth, at least the fourth. I know that you lost me. I don't know how long ago I lost you. So I'm just going to continue. So go to pencils. I've finished all the colors on the clothing. And I'm going to come in and. Now, at every point in the painting process, you know, I, I make a mess, I make a random mark, and then try to see a person in the random mark. Does that make sense? So I'm responding very much to what's already on the canvas. And that's certainly what I'm doing here. Um, responding to what's there looking it, it's the same game that we play as kids look for pictures in the clouds of course as adults too those of us who are more healthy emotionally <laughs> Ooh. so it's 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 not me you know in a sense, arm wrestling the, the painting into submission. It's me playfully responding to um, what's already there. Of course, pencils are, are not the last word on the paint. I'll be doing Mount more after I do these pencils. The two things I'm gonna do in particular are, uh, uh, cl a white clothing and flesh tones. A variety of flesh tones, of course, okay? I don't know which order yet. I don't know if I'm gonna do white clothing and then flesh tone or vice versa. Probably flesh tone first and then clothing. So little by little, and I don't have to. I don't have to explain everything. I can leave quite a bit of this. I mean, this already looks like a crowd of people, does it not? And it will look a lot more like a crowd of people when I come in and do flesh tones, and then and then it'll look considerably more like a crowd of people when I do uh, the white clothing. And of course, if I'm painting with the white paint, I'm painting wet in wet, of course, right? So the white paint will piece a lot of these wet colors and create pastel, nice pastel. The colors that are on here right now are, just, are too garish, are too uh, chroma, too high chroma, too saturated, whichever word you want to use, to be very believable as a crowd of people. But when I come and, and add the white to it and the white picking up the colors and smushing it around, It'll get 
somewhat more realistic. See, I don't, I'm seeing now that orange blob right there as a head. <laughs> when I did the orange blob, I know I, I'm sure I wasn't thinking of a head. I don't know what I was thinking. I might have been thinking of a space between people because of the background here, a lot of it is sort of orange. But when I looked at it now, I said, oh, that's a head. Does that make sense? That... I think a lot of good painting is like this. And this is a rather extreme version of that, this, I don't know what the word is, random, you know, abstract approach to painting. Make a mess first and then try to, try to interpret it. Just about done with the pencils. Okay, now, flesh tones. And of course, as you can imagine, starting with uh, darker flesh tones and then proceeding to lighter. Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. One nice thing about mixing up brown. By the way, here's the, I'm using a plain old fashioned traditional wooden palette here with my big festival equipment. One of the nice things about trying to mix up a brown is often all you have to do is mix up all the stuff that's already here and there all over your palette, right? <laughs> do you know what I mean? There, I've got a very nice brown, medium brown, just by mixing up what was already there. It's a little bit of a cleanup operation. Okay, now, again, with every level, with every stage of the painting process, except maybe the first one, the very first one, or a big brush, I'm just making marks. Um, but at every stage after that, for sure, I'm interpreting, I'm looking for people. And I see that there's definitely a head. And does this figure have any arms? Yeah, see, all of a sudden, oh yeah, there's an arm right there. Is he wearing shorts? His legs are kind of skinny. So yes, this boy or girl, I don't know which it is, is, is uh, wearing shorts. The reason that matters is because I'm, I'm painting flesh tone. So what about his other arm? Is there another arm there? Yeah, just barely. I have to, both of those arms are straight lines. I'm gonna have to watch out and make sure I don't do that too many times. I'll just have a crowd of people with stiff arms, right? Not very realistic. So here again, I'm interpreting, looking at anatomy, which is huge. I don't mean my understanding is huge. I mean, it's hugely important to, to have an understanding of anatomy when you're, anytime you try to paint people, right? Again, there's another head and uh, here's an arm just turned, turned into a colored streak and I'm going to make this arm coming around that way. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. <laughs> I painted, I started this morning, started this morning and had lots of, lots of interruptions and I got this far. <laughs> I got I got my own advertising agency here. <laughs> I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Daniel. Okay, so again, looking for, looking for things that look like people. 
I don't have to interpret. I don't have to ter- interpret everything. I don't have to explain everything. Don't have to explain every figure. I can leave some of them fairly abstract, but most of them I want, I want the viewer to be go. Oh, I can kind of see a person in there. Some of these I don't know if they're coming or going, because if they're going, that they I won't get the flesh tone. You know, some of these I feel like are looking the other way, and I just painted their heads light. So that that's a bit of a misfire i need to come back and paint it dark because most most hair except for light blondes um which are minority most hair is darker than face than skin flesh tone so probably need to change some of the turn some of those fades around but i really i don't mind starting this way though because it's helping me interpret the figures uh one of the things that i i work I am working, I should say. I am working very hard at, and and still not always getting it, but it's way too easy for me. I often, when I paint crowds of people, um, I, they're, too, they're too erect. They're too standing at attention. They're too stiff. I don't have enough curve in their figures. So here, again, I'm, I'm work, trying really hard. This person right here is standing up pretty straight. I don't, I don't want to do that to too many figures. I also tend to have like arms akimbo. Do you know that, that term? You read that in literature? Akimbo. Uh, out away from the body at different angles. I want to watch out for that. Because people don't walk around. A lot of, they don't, a, a whole lot of people do not go around with their arms out away from their body. More people walk around, you know, body with their arms hanging close to their torso. I want to catch just the right compromise. When in doubt, scribble. If I make a mark that doesn't look right, then I can just do what I did there. Just make a scribble mark out of it. Let the viewer interpret without me. You know what, I, at one point I had several people here walking across and now most people are coming toward or away from me and it might be a weakness in my, in my crowds painting of people. I, I, I find I end up having too many crossways. Often that's because when I'm painting at a festival, I'm looking straight up a street and you know, at a festival people on a street, they tend to walk one way or the other. There's not that many people going straight across the street. So I'm sure that's part of the reason. I'm gonna claim that's what's happening here. <laughs> okay, so my first layer of flesh tone is finished. Now I'm gonna mix up a slightly lighter, and in this case, slightly yellower, slightly yellower, lighter, paler flesh tone. Got it. Same principle that I do everywhere else. Just in this case, it's even more important because the variety of flesh tones, I get a racial variety too. And of course, that's at it. I don't know if it was two minutes. Anyway, sorry about that, friends. Lost you again. I don't know how much you missed, but I'm just going to continue as if you didn't miss any. Yeah. Lemonade. <laughs> One of the <laughs> pleasures of painting at festivals. <laughs> you have to eat festival food, <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> unless you have the foresight to pack lunch ahead of time, which, are you kidding me? I don't have. Okay, so I don't know if you caught earlier when I was giving the last three steps of this process. Uh, uh, one was pencils, done that. Number two was flesh tone, done that. Now I'm doing white, and I'm starting with a, a definitely a dirty white. I think you can see this. So this, this look, to me looks like a kid. We're seeing him, oh, by the way, one thing I am gonna have to do here, which violates my system, but it's, it's okay, uh, it, it'll work, is um, do some hair. 
I want some of these people to, I want them to look like we're looking at them from the back and their, their hairs, their, their heads are way too bright light for that. Okay, so this, this boy here, he's wearing a shirt, t-shirt. It's mostly dull blue, but it's got some green in it and some purple in it. And of course it's all wet, I'm painting it oil, so all of this is wet, of course. And, and, uh, so I just rough in some white and it's much lighter than it was. And it's a, a muted pastel color, much more realistic. I'm going to do the same thing to, I think, his friend standing right beside him. 